It's another amazing day to learn new in science. Today, we will be dealing with the different types of plate boundaries. But before that, let us recall what we have learned in the last episode. Determine the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts. Determine the scientific basis for dividing the lithospheric plates. How about the tracing activity that I asked you to do? And the question that I asked you to answer? Did you find out how important identifying areas prone to earthquake? Let's proceed now to our objective. Describe the different types of plate boundaries. It is very important to learn the plate boundaries because there are geologic occurrences or events happening. Plate boundaries can be found at the edge of the lithospheric plates. There are three different types of plate boundaries. We can differentiate them by their types of movement. Let us take a look at the relative movement of the crustal plates. Can you see arrows on the map? Get your paper and pen and try to draw the arrows. What do you notice? You're right! The arrows show different direction. Please illustrate the arrows in African plate and South American plate. I will give you time to draw. Time is up! Yes, the arrows are like this. It shows that they are moving away from each other. How about the arrows that you see in Eurasian plate and Philippine plate? Try to illustrate it. I will give you time to draw. Time is up! Yes, the arrows are like this. It seems that the arrows are moving towards each other. Actually, they are showing the first two types of plate boundaries. The first type of plate boundary is a divergent boundary. The plates move apart. It will create a zone of tension. The second type of plate boundary is known as the convergent plate boundary. Just like the case of Eurasian plate and the Philippine plate, the plates collide and moving towards each other. There is another type of plate boundary, the transform fault boundary. The plates slide or grind past each other without diverging or converging. San Andreas fault is the best example for this type of plate boundary. San Andreas fault is bounded by the North American plate and the Pacific plate. If we will draw arrows for this type of plate boundary, how do the arrows look like? So the three types of plate boundary are Divergent plate boundary, Convergent plate boundary, and Transform fault boundary. Now, get your paper and pen and give your description to the three types of plate boundaries. Divergent plate boundary Convergent Plate Boundary Transform Fault Boundary Time is up! Divergent Plate Boundary Convergent Plate Boundary Transform Fault Boundary That's it! Thank you for watching! Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video!